A local teacher accused of sexually abusing a special education student flees to Hong Kong. And further chose to irreparably harm his child. For that, she needs to be held accountable. What's now being done to bring her back to the United States and why the victim's father is speaking out. Tonight, a teacher is accused of having sex with a 15-year-old student with autism. Felony sex charges sent 25-year-old Sharon Kue, a teacher at the Frost School in Wheaton, on the run. Police believe she's hiding with her brother in Hong Kong. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live outside the school where the student and teacher first met Kevin. Well, like so many of these cases, the classroom was the instigator, but cell phones kept the relationship alive. Police say Kuwait and that 15 year old boy exchanged sexually laced text messages and phone calls both during and after class. Their secret affair hidden while the parents of the victim attended church. As a human being, you experience shock, rage, fear. A father goes public as his wife holds back the tears, a couple sharing their son's misery, fearing Sharon Kuwait may have preyed on other special needs children. Because of my son's autism, his trauma will be long and it will be revealed slowly. Court documents state twice last month, Kuwait drove to the teen's house in the Silver Spring neighborhood. On one occasion, she kissed and fondled the boy. Six days later, the two allegedly had sex in his bedroom. Both times, his parents we're at church. This is the kind of situation that kills the faith of individuals. So how did she get away? Investigators say the victim told his parents about the abuse on Sunday, November 10th. On Monday, the Frost School fired Kuwait, leading police to search her home on Tuesday the 12th. But by Wednesday, the special ed teacher was on the run aboard a nonstop flight from JFK to Hong Kong. Today, administrators at the privately run Frost School were on high alert, but declined to talk on camera. And we drove by the school. He began to literally rip uh, pieces of the door panel off of the inside of our car. With autism, he does not display his emotions, but he feels them deeper than most of us. Kuwait lived in this townhome in Rockville's King Farm development. That's a shock for us. Neighbors were shocked by the news. She should pay for what she did. That's inhuman. That's really bad. To take advantage of someone like that, if you're 25, you know what you're, you know, that's just, yeah, that's gross. Well, investigators are now working with the State Department and Chinese governmental officials to locate Kuwait if extradited back to American soil and convicted. The former teacher could face 55 years in state prison. That's the very latest from the Montgomery County Mobile Newsroom in Wheaton. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. And Kevin, the Frost School just released a statement about this case, saying in part that based on the information from police, we fully believe that this is very serious and egregious allegations and that they represent an isolated event. We have taken immediate steps with our staff to reinforce the policies regarding away from school communication with students and staff student boundaries. The statement goes on to say the charges are heartbreaking to the Frost School family.